This is the outside of the 2021 Benimar Benivan 120. As I move along, I will firstly come to the main hookup point. Just remember that when removing the lead to push down on the blue lever just here. Beside this is the LPG tank fill. So if I now just push in and twist round, the dust cover will pop off. Our UK fillers just slide over this section just here. And then it's just a matter of pulling a lever around and then pulling that lever towards you to lock it onto the side of the van. And then you can commence filling up the gas tank by holding a button down. You can either put in as many litres as you want or just wait for it to click off exactly the same as a fuel pump would. This centre part here is where you screw in the continental adapters. To view how much gas is in the gas tank, just need to come to the driver's side and the gauge is located here. This can only be viewed when the engine is running and you'll get a series of green lights and these will slowly go out as you use the gas. The gas tank just sits underneath the van just there and I'll show you how to isolate it when we go round the other side. We then have the flue for the boiler. We don't need to do anything with this, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. And then we have the fresh water tank drain and the waste tank drains just here. And the flue for the space heater just here. Again, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. Cassette toilet location just here. To remove the cassette, just lift up on the orange lever and then pull towards you. Before use, remove the cap and add your toilet chemical with a small amount of water. This is also where it empties from. Just remember that when you are pouring the cassette away, to also hold the button in just here to release the vacuum inside. It's also advisable to keep this seal lubricated. Fetford do their own seal lubricant, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. By turning this part here, gains access inside the cassette for additional cleaning. If you do need to gain full access inside, this whole section here can be removed. You'll see at the moment that this little arrow here is just pointing to the locked point by twisting this whole section around so this arrow faces here will allow it to come out. All of these cassettes now are on wheels with extendable handles. Next we have the vents for the fridge. Again, make sure that nothing is obstructing them and try to avoid spraying any water at them when washing the van. Spare wheel just located here. And in the jack and wheelbrace kit, there's a bar that locates where my finger is just here. Attach the brace to it and then wind the wheel down. And then as we come round to the rear, we have the reverse camera just up here. And then we have access to the rear of the van. As I come round to the other side, we have the fresh water tank filled just here. The cap can be locked to open it, just push it in, twist it round, and then pop your hose pipe in to fill up the fresh water tank. It's 
step switch just here. The step will automatically go in when the engine is started, but always make sure that it has. We then have the light bar switch just here. To isolate the gas tank, the cover needs to be taken off the front of the tank. So if I now just go underneath, you will then see that there's a lever just there. And if I now pull that lever, the front will come off and then we can isolate the gas just on the brass knob just here. Diesel fill just here and the cap on locks on the ignition key and then add blue top up just here it will let you know on the dashboard when your add blue needs topping up tire pressures just here both driver and passenger seats are heated jack and wheel brace kit just here vehicle battery underneath the floor of the cab and bonnet release just here.